So, to understand Islam, I think, I think it's important to have opportunity in school to study about Islam. So, but in Japanese school, religious education is, can, we can do religious education in public school. So, my question is that how can we study about Islam in public school in Japan? That's the question that the many Muslims in Japan, also in Hiroshima, and you'd like to learn about Islam, she said, how can we get information about Islam number one? And how can we get information in Japanese school? I'm not aware of the Japanese school, the Japanese government rules and regulation, but as far as where can you get authentic information, always go to those books, websites, social media, satellite channels, that authentic. Authentic means it should be as per the teachings of the glorious Quran and the Hadith. My request to you would be that if you want information, read the translation, of the Quran in Japanese. Read the one that is published by the King Fahd uh, printing press, which I can safely say is authentic. I personally don't know Japanese as a language, but I can surely find out which is the best Japanese translation available. In website, one website which I'm aware of which also has translation in Japanese is Islam q &A. Islam q &A is a website which answers questions regarding <coughs> Islam. It's run by Sheikh Salim Munajid originally in Arabic and, and there are 11 languages and I am told one of them is also Japanese. It's in English and many are French, Spanish, German and I think one of the languages is Japanese. Authentic information you can get from Islam q &A. and read the translation of the Quran and you can come to the local Dawa center. Which is the local Dawa center in Hiroshima? Can, brother can be more helpful. Uh, we, we, have, we have a masjid uh, in, in Higashi Hiroshima. This is a Salam masjid and we have a big library uh, in that masjid. It has different Islamic books in different languages. You can look for the index of that library by accessing our website. Our website is written in here, Hiroshima-ICC.org. Uh, all the Islamic books in Japanese, English and different other languages are listed over there. You send us an email and anytime visit us in our center and you can borrow any Islamic book for 15 days for free. <coughs> And like even, you. even if you want the English translation, the Japanese translation of Quran, inshallah, we can give it as a present to you. Yeah, as you now we, have a copy. we don't have a copy today, but if I, I get you contact information, I can send it even by mail if you don't have time to visit us in our center. Okay, Sister, so I'd like to ask you a question. Have you studied anything about Islam? A little bit of? Yes. Yeah, have you studied? Yes. In English or Japanese, whatever it is? Japanese. Japanese. I would like to ask you, do you believe sister there is one God or do you believe there are many Gods? Do you believe there is one God or do you believe there are many Gods? One God. One God. Do you believe there is one God? Yes. Do you believe idol worship is wrong? Hmm? Making idols of God is wrong. Do you believe that or not? Making an image of God. Do you think it's correct or wrong? He's all the same. Image of God. Is it correct or is it wrong? Hmm. Like you know, some of the human beings make idols. Sculpture of God. Do you think it is correct or do you think it is wrong? Mm -hmm. I think God is like a light. Yes, that's what the Quran also says. Quran says that God is light. But do you believe that God is one? Yes. And do you believe Prophet Muhammad is a messenger of God? Yes. You believe that? Yes, but I have to study more. Yes, what I believe, actually, there are two basic things required, sister. If anyone believes in two basic concepts, that there is one God and no one else deserves worship except that one God, which you already believe, and you believe that Prophet Muhammad is the messenger, Prophet of God, these are the basic two requirements for anyone to become a Muslim. Later on will come the other things about prayer, about fasting, about charity, but these two things, sister, is the basic stepping stones that if any human being believes in these two things, that there is one God and no other God and he alone should be worshipped. And second, that Prophet Muhammad is the messenger, then that person becomes a Muslim. And later on, a person learns more and then gets more knowledge and then you know like how you enter the school. First you enter the nursery and then you keep on first standard, second standard, third standard. But a person should agree, okay fine, these two things are there and then 
He practices more. So would you, according to me, if you believe there is one God, and you believe Prophet Muhammad is a Muslim, then you are already Muslim. Would you like to say that? <laughs> would you like to say it in Arabic? You already said that in English, that there is one God. And you already believe that Prophet Muhammad is the messenger. These two are the minimum requirements for any human being to become a Muslim. And later on, as your knowledge keeps on increasing, you keep on following and practicing. But these two are the basic things. So I would like to ask you, sister, would you like to become a Muslim? According to me, you already are a Muslim. Okay. Would you like to say it in Arabic? Yes. Are you understanding English? I understand, but... You, do you want a translation or do you understand English? I understand English. I think you understand she's thinking. I'm experienced. <laughs> <laughs> I can make up from the expression she's thinking. Not that she's not understanding. I can make up the reason I'm in the field. So sister, would you like to become a Muslim? At first I want to study no more. No study more, that's right. But study more, but one thing is there. That if you believe in these two basic things, see many Muslims are practicing parts, some are doing more. These two are the basic things, sister. You understand? If you agree in these two basic things, that means you are already a Muslim. And when you study more and you keep in practice, you become a better and a better practicing Muslim. Because we don't know how long will we live. I don't know whether I'm going to live for one year or two years or one day or two days, I don't know. So if you agree in these two basic things, it is preferable we accept it. So it becomes easier to get more knowledge. It becomes easier for a person, like if you take admission in school, then to learn in this school is easier than staying outside the school and keep on learning. Yes, you can. Not that you cannot. So would you like to accept Islam? Would you like to study more? Yes, you keep on studying. Even I am studying now. I don't say that I know everything of Islam, I'm just studying. I want to study more. Okay, study more, but whenever you feel, you don't have to say it in public. If you agree there is one God and Prophet Muhammad is a messenger, according to me you are Muslim. And you can practice as much as you can, as much as you can, the more knowledge you get, the more you will understand, the more you practice and more closer you come to our mighty God. Thank you, sister. Mahabharata Dhamana Hamra Bilal. Brother, do you believe in the last and final messenger? Do you believe in Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him?